This is a test. This is a test. What do you know about language arts, math, science, and social studies? Find out while playing along with Knowledge for College, where teams from competing UISD schools spin the wheel of knowledge and answer questions from a world of subject categories. It's a mind challenge for students and a chance to win for their school. But most of all, it's a really fun way to learn. Now, let's play Knowledge for College. Hi and welcome. You're watching Knowledge for College, a game of knowledge and skill and an element of chance uh, featuring some of our best students here at United ISD. And today we have students from Finley Elementary and Kazan Elementary. And before we meet our students, I'd like to turn our attention so we can meet our guest host today, Mr. Mercurio Martinez. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for inviting me. Yes, sir. Now, you have a very uh, varied background, as they say. Uh, you've been a, you're a former Webb County uh, judge, and you're also a rancher, and you're also a, a member of the board of, at LCC, and you also work at uh, TAMI as, as a director of small business and economic development as well. Yes, sir. And okay. also... Uh, I think you have, uh, you've also served on city council, correct? And I'm a former councilman, uh, and uh, as well as being a former president of the Lorraine and Penn School District Board of Trustees. So we have been involved in our community and, and uh, uh, our main issue is trying to make our community better. Very good, I know you've spent a lot of years serving, uh, serving the community here in Laredo and uh, you also have uh, some knowledge you wanna share with us concerning the uh, the initial beginnings of uh, our school district here, United ISD. Uh, I'd be more than happy to bring these uh, young students up to uh, par as to how United Independent School District became a school district. Let me just give you a little, a little history. Uh, this was in the 1960s when Mr. Joe Finley, one of the principal owners of Callahan Ranch, and Amparo Gutierrez, a very active uh, lady, very much involved in the community, uh, they got together and decided to approach the uh, then Laredo Independent School District Board of Trustees to see if they would be willing to consolidate the rural schools that were out in the rural area of the County of Webb. Uh, the County of Webb had a lot of, quite a number of rural schools which would be one room schools that would actually teach anywhere from grades one all the way up through grade six. And uh, they wanted to see if LISD at that time would bring them and become part of the school district. Uh, the board uh, decided that uh, they could not, uh, they were a very conservative group of uh, members on that board, decided that they, they uh, felt that they would have to issue uh, bonds in order to uh, bring the uh, rural area back into into the county uh, with the Alliance D. And they literally said, uh, we appreciate the offer, but uh, at this time we cannot, uh, uh, you know, consider you bringing them into it. So Mr. Finley and, uh, and Ms. Gutierrez decided to approach the rural uh, community and take a vote, and the vote the voters decided to uh, incorporate into what was then United Consolidated Independent School District. I just want to kind of uh, remind the students here that where you live and where you go to school now, back in the 60s, there was nothing there. So it was just all Monte, if you want to think about that in those terms. But let's turn our attention now to our students. Uh, Representing Finley Elementary, we have Alan and Celine. And Alan, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Well, usually when I'm not at school, I'm usually reading books, maybe watching some TV, playing outside with my friends. Then what kind of books do you like to read, Alan? Mostly like novels that are like mystery and fantasy. All right, excellent. And Celine, what about you? Can you tell us about yourself? I like to read and play basketball. Okay, and what kind of books do you like to read, Celine? Um, scary. Scary books, horror books. All right, excellent. And representing Kazan Elementary, we have Galilea and Logan. And uh, Galilea, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? I like running outside sometimes in the park or dancing when I have the dancing classes. All right, excellent. And Logan, what about you? I like to read books, play with my friends, and play sports. All right, ex excellent, Logan. 
Uh, just before we begin, let me just go over the rules very briefly. Uh, you see behind you, each team is going to take turns spinning that wheel. And uh, we have questions in science, math, language, arts, and social studies. Those are worth five points each. You'll have a minute to answer. And once your time is up, you're going to hear a chime. And of course, uh, the wild term questions are going to be worth a little bit more. Those are more challenging. So, but you're still going to have one minute to answer, but you'll, you can earn 10 points if you answer correctly. Now, it's important for each team to answer correctly, because otherwise, the other team is going to have a chance to answer that question and earn the points. So let's begin, and I believe, Finley, you won the toss, so uh, Alan or Salima, will one of you give us a good spin, please. Just make sure it goes all the way around at least once. And this time we have a math question for our students with from Finley, so Mr. Uh, sir, if you can just hand me a math question. Yes, sir. And then I will... Uh, Here we are. I'll give the students a copy. And as I'm handing out the copies, you can go ahead and read the question and the choices there. Okay. Please. While Mr. Nino is doing that, the question is, Oops, which sorry. of the following describes the data that is most often found or repeated? Again, which of the following describes the data that is most often found or repeated? And the choices are? And the choices are A, median, B, mode, C, range, and D, none of these. And are you ready to answer? Yes. Go ahead, please. The answer is B, mode. Correct. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> and by answering correctly, you earned the five points. And uh, Kazen, it's your turn. So Logan or Galileo, will one of you give us a good spin on that wheel, please? And our students from Kazen also have a math question. Another math answer. question. There we are. And of course, okay. if they answer correctly, they can also earn five points. Okay. The question is, which of the following statements is not true about squares? All squares are rectangles, that is A. B, all squares are parallelograms. C, all squares are trapezoids. And D, all squares are quadrilaterals. I'm ready to answer. Go ahead, please. The answer is C, all squares are trapezoids. Congratulations. Boy, we've got some smart smart young young kids here. Yes, they are. We have some very talented students Very here. talented. And family, it's your turn once again. So, Celine, give us a good turn on the wheel, please. And we're going to ask you just to go ahead and give us a, another spin. There we go. That's more like it. And this time we... Oh, boy. Land with another these. math. Another math question. Okay. I'm sure the Gaming Commission in Vegas would have a problem with this wheel. So. <laughs> Question is, Carol started her homework at 6.45 p.m. and finished by 8.15 p.m. How long did it take Carol to finish her homework? Remember, one hour equals 60, mi 60 minutes. Uh, A is one hour and 30 minutes. B, one hour and 45 minutes. C, two hours and 15 minutes, and D, two hours and 30 minutes. Again, question, Carol started her homework at 6.45 p.m. and finished by 8.15 p.m. How long did it take Carol to finish her homework? And are you ready to answer? What's A. your answer, please? A, one hour and 30 minutes. All right. Congratulations. Very good. <laughs> and Kazen, it's uh, your turn at the wheel again, so Galilea, Galilea, give us a good spin, please. And this time we land arts. on the language arts category, which will be this box up here. We have a language arts question for our students from Kazen Elementary, and they can earn five points. And the points. question is... What is the abbreviation for doctor? Is it A, DR period? Is it B, D period? Is it C, doc period? Or is it D, DT period? And again, just what's the abbreviation what for doctor? What is the abbreviation for doctor? Letter A, 
D-R- Letter A, that is correct. Well, good job, guys, you're in the five points, and Finley Elementary, it's your turn once again, so Alan, give us a good spin, please. There we go. And it looks like wild we landed turn. in the wild turn category, so these are the ones in the middle, so if you could hand me one of those. And this could come from any uh, subject area, and of course, they're a little more challenging, so they're going to be worth a few more points. And of course, you'll have a minute to answer as well. Okay. Which statement about Earth's water is correct? A. Earth's water is constantly moving and being recycled. B. Earth's water cycle is controlled by gravity. C. The amount of water on Earth increases over time. And D, Earth's water supply is decreasing due to evaporation. Again, which statement about Earth's water is correct? And of course, just to uh, repeat the choices, Earth A, Earth's water is constantly moving and being recycled. B, Earth's water cycle is controlled by gravity. Uh, C, the amount of water on Earth increases over time. Or D, Earth's water supply is decreasing. Due to evaporation, which of those statements is correct? That's what we're trying to find out. Our students from Finley have a minute to answer, and they can earn 10 points if they answer correctly. Otherwise, our students from Kazan will get the chance to, earn, to answer the question and possibly earn the points. B. Wait, what was that? B. B. I'm sorry, that's uh, incorrect. Uh, Kazan, do you have an answer for us, please? A. A. The Earth's Earth. water is constantly moving and being recycled. That is correct. Congratulations. So that's correct. And Kazan earns the points. And let's take a quick break and we'll be right, right back. Get on the right track this school year. All United ISD high school students are eligible to win a new car as part of the same Skia in the classroom program. In order to win, you'll have to go the distance by having perfect attendance during any nine-week period. Your name will then be entered into the UISD Grand Prize drawing to win a new 2014 Kia Soul. So go the extra mile, attend class, and have the chance to win a Kia. Drivers, be careful around school buses and in school zones. Come to a complete stop when you see the flashing red lights on a school bus. Slow down to 20 miles per hour in a school zone at the start and at the end of each day. State law prohibits the use of cell phones or any handheld devices in an active school zone. Please obey crossing guards directing traffic. Failure to heed these warnings can lead to fines or jail time. Keep our kids safe. Drive carefully. Hi, my name is uh, Jose Hernandez. I'm a uh, former migrant farm worker and now a former NASA astronaut. I had the opportunity to become an astronaut because I stayed in school and I focused on STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math. And even though we work in the fields, I was able to realize my dream through hard work and perseverance. No matter how humble your beginnings are, there's a way to move forward and that's through a proper education. Like adults, young people need to exercise too. At least one hour of physical activity every day, regular exercise helps you. Build healthy bones, muscles, and joints. Feel less stressed. Feel better about ourselves. Keep a healthy weight. Sleep better at night. <clears throat> Feel more ready to learn in school. And don't forget to make healthy food choices as well. Exercise and healthy eating equals success. Hi and welcome back. You're watching Knowledge for College. Our schools today are Finley Elementary and Kazan Elementary. And our guest today is Mr. Mercurio Martinez, a former county judge and all around a community service man. And uh, sir, I understand you have a question for our students before we resume play. I, I, I certainly do. And, and uh, I start with Alan. Alan, obviously, well, first let me compliment all of you. Obviously, you're very, very smart and I want to congratulate you and encourage you to continue doing that, okay? The fact that you do quite a bit of reading, that's a big plus because that improves your mind and, and helps you in school, obviously. Alan, what do you want to do when you grow up? And are you thinking in terms of going to college? Um, I'd say when I grow up, I would like to be like an actor. Uh -huh. And for college, um, I'd go to TAMU and then maybe to the University 
of Austin, Texas. Oh, excellent, excellent, that's great. Celine, how about you? I want, for the college, I want to go to LCC and then to the University of Texas in Austin, and I want to be a veterinarian. That's great. And I, I, let me ask you, you have a very nice, very pretty first name that is certainly different than everybody else's, okay? Like in my case, my, my name is Mercurio, and I don't think there's anyone in Laredo other than my son that has this first name. What about you? What can you tell me about your first name? Well, there's, there's a city that's called the same thing with my name uh -huh. back then, and there's also a celebrity that's called for this, the name, the same thing. Good for you. Okay. And Logan, that's another good, good name, all right? A very popular name. Uh, tell me, what, what are your plans for your future? Any idea? I am thinking about going to TAMU and then to the University of Texas in Austin. Good for you. And I would like to be either a sports player or an astronaut. An astronaut. Wonderful. Boy. Uh, well, obviously you are very good in science and that has to be one of your strong points, to be an astronaut. So. I certainly want to encourage you to keep on after it, okay? That's a, that's a great, great goal for you to keep that in mind. So again, I congratulate all of you because you are doing exceptionally well and I'm very, very, very much impressed. So keep it up. All right, sir. Let's go ahead and uh, resume play now. Uh, Gagilea or Logan, it's your turn. It's Kazen Elementary's turn at the wheel. So give us a good spin, please. And our students from Kazan wind up with the, the arts, the language arts category. There we are. All right. Now here you okay. Go. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'll hand the copy. All right. The, the question is: What two words make up the contraction there? T h e y apostrophe r e. Is it a there are? Is it b there? T h e i r r. Is it C, they am, or is it D, they are? And your We question. have an answer. Go ahead, please. They are. And that would be what, uh, what letter? letter? Letter D. Letter, letter D. D. That is correct. correct. <laughs> so you're in the five points, Kazan. And Finley, it's your turn again. So Alan, give us a good spin, please. And this time... Finley winds up in the wild turn category once wild again. Wild turn, oh boy. And of course our students can earn 10 points if they answer correctly. Okay, this is a question. Barbara and David are modeling how Earth has night and day. Barbara is the sun and David is the Earth. How should they move around each other to show how night and day are caused? Is it A, Barbara should rotate while revolving around David? Or is it B, David should stand still while Barbara rotates? Is it C, Barbara should revolve around David while he is standing still? Or is it D, David should rotate while revolving around Barbara? Now just keep in mind, students, you have a minute to answer, so you can uh, just uh, discuss it among yourselves or give us an answer whenever you're ready. You have an answer? All right. The, the answer is D. Woo! Hey, great. All right. Wonderful. <laughs> Excellent, uh, Finley Elementary. You earned the 10 points. And Kazen, it's once again your turn. So, uh, Galilea or Logan, give us a good spin, please. And we land in the social, social studies study. category, okay. which is down in the, the corner there. All right. All right. It's the first time that social studies is coming up. Yes, it is. Okay. A or N blank is a reference book with facts and figures. Is it A? Is it a map? Is it B, Bible? C, Atlas? D, Almanac. So, and the blank is the blank is 
A reference book with facts and figures. And which of the four is it going to be? Is it C. Atlas? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Uh, Finley Elementary, yes. Almanac it is. Almanac it is, that's correct. Finley Elementary earns the five points, and it's also Finley Elementary's turn at the wheel. So, Celine, give us a good spin, please. And this time the wheel will come to rest in the language arts category. Okay. There you go. Okay, the question is lines of Oops, poetry are sometimes grouped into clusters and here you known go. as what? Is it A? Phrases, B, measures, C, stanzas, D, bars. Lines of poetry are sometimes grouped into clusters known as what? C, stanzas. And that is correct. That is correct. So good job, Finley. You earned five points. Kazen, it's your turn again. So give us a good spin, Logan, please. And we have another social studies question, this time for Kazan Elementary. Social studies. There we are. And of course, this question will be worth five points if our students can answer correctly. Okay. The question is, a cold period marked by episodes of extensive glaciations, alternating with episodes of relative warmth. And the choices a are? A is quat um, uh, quaternary period. Is it B, ice age? Is it C, paleolithic age? And is it D, gelation, gelation age? Man, this is a hard one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and just... Uh, Even hard to, to, to pronounce. And of course, this uh, social studies for our question is for our students from Kazan Elementary. And... Uh, just to repeat, a cold a period marked by episodes of extensive uh, glaciations, alternating with episodes of relative warmth. And of course, uh, the choices are qua quaternary period, ice age, paleolithic age, or I'm going to say Gelasian age. Gelasian age. And of course, our students have a minute to answer. The Gelasian age. I'm sorry, that's uh, incorrect. Uh, Finley, what's, do you have an answer for us, please? A. A. I'm sorry, that's also incorrect. Uh, no points on this round, but the correct answer, Mr. Martinez, if you can the correct share that with us. Is the ice age. Don't worry about it. I didn't even know that. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're so, doing very well. So, no points on uh, this round, but uh, Finley Elementary, it's your turn once again. So, go ahead and give us a good spin, please. And uh, Finley wild winds turn. up with another wild turn okay. question. And of course, this could be from any subject area, and it's going to be worth 10 points if our students can answer correctly. All right. The question is, Ms. Reyes will put one centerpiece on each table in the dance hall for the prom dance. The dance hall has 16 rows and six tables in each row and 13 rows with four tables in each row. Ms. Reyes already has 122 centerpieces. How many more centerpieces does she need to buy? Is it A, 26 centerpieces, B, 96 centerpieces, C, 52 centerpieces, or D, 44 centerpieces? Again, Ms. Reyes will put one centerpiece on each table in the dance hall for the prom dance. The dance hall has 16 rows and six tables in each row and 13 rows with four tables in each row. Ms. Reyes already has 122 centerpieces. How many more centerpieces does she need to buy? A, 26. Correct. That is correct. <laughs> Excellent. All right, Finley, you earned the 10 points. Uh, and Kazan, it's your turn. So, uh, Logan or Galilea, will one of you give us a good spin on that wheel, please? All righty. 
And our students from Kazan wind up with a math right. question. Okay. And of course, this math question right. will be worth five points if our students can answer correctly. Okay, the question is, a parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. Opposite sides are also congruent. Which of the following figures is not a parallelogram? Is it A, a rectangle, B, a square, C, rhombus, or D, a trapezoid? Again. Letter D, trapezoid. Hey, excellent. Trapezoid, good for you. Good job, Kason. You earned the five points, and it's time now for a quick break, so let's go ahead and take it. All United ISD high school students have the chance to score really big this school year as part of the same Kia in the classroom program. Just have perfect attendance during any nine week period and your name will be entered into the UISD grand prize drawing to win a 2014 Kia Soul. Play like a champ, refuse to lose, go to school, get a good education and maybe even a new car. It's a win-win. Don't join a gang. Criminal activity can land you in jail. If you're in a gang and want to get out, if you've been threatened for not joining a gang, the United ISD anti-gang facilitators can help. They can help you get out of a gang. The anti-gang facilitators are available at all UISD secondary schools. They can help you turn your life around. Hi and welcome back. You're watching Knowledge for College. I'd like to thank, take some time to thank our students from Finley Elementary and Kazan Elementary for joining us and being such good sports. And I'd like to take some, some time to thank our guest host, Mr. Mercurio Martinez. Uh, sir, if you can just uh, tell us briefly, what's, uh, what do you think about our show? I am very, very impressed with all of you. And keep it up. Without question, you're going to excel. I don't care what you do, but you have a great future ahead of you and keep it up. Thank you, sir. And of course, we'd like to take some time to thank some of the sponsors who provide uh, prizes for our students. Chick-fil-A at Mall del Norte, Chick-fil-A at Bob Bullock Loop, Montana Mike, Sonic, America's Drive-In, CeCe's Pizza, Chuck E. Cheese's, Subway's, and Great American Cookies. And with that, let's uh, just say goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.